Here's another short video about sensors and specifically uses for the accelerometer. If you haven't already, go on the internet and download the newest versions of the VI for the accelerometer for LabVIEW. It will come with a really nice sample program you can try out on your brick. It gives information about movement along three axes. In this case, I'm interested in the x-axis, the pitch. I want it to be as close to zero as possible. As you saw when my robot's sitting there, the actual value is negative 1.2 approximately. I'm going to need to correct for that in the program. But before I do that, I'm just going to copy the use of the accelerometer code from the sample and use it in my own program. I like the way the sample uses the sensor block and prints that information to the display. Then I can see what my robot is really doing when I'm testing it out. I'm going to keep taking readings from the accelerometer so I'm going to put it in a while loop. So I'm going to read information from the accelerometer over and over and keep giving that information to the motor. I don't want to do it too fast so I'm going to include a time or a wait block also. Now I need to do a little math. First I want to correct for the pitch. It should be 0, not negative 1.2 when it's just sitting flat. So I want to add 1.2 so that the starting point will be a value of 0. Now, it's not going to always happen that I get an exact value of 0. 0 0.1, 0 0.2 may be good enough. So I'm going to take the absolute value of my current reading from the accelerometer so that I can see if it's plus or minus sum from zero. If it is, I'm going to set it equal to zero and leave anything larger than that intact. I played around with it earlier and decided that within four tenths I will consider that balanced and I will ignore that. Now I want to coerce values in that range to zero, otherwise keep them the same. Now I want to take this number and scale it up, make it larger so I can use it as a speed or power for the motor. I'm going to multiply it by 5 because I don't want my robot to be too fast and drive past the point of balance. I also want to add 10 because I found that my motors won't really drive my robot unless their power is more than 10. Finally, I need to find out if the number was originally positive or negative and set it back to that because I want to drive backwards to balance or forwards to balance depending on the readout from the sensor. Wire it up to the motor, set my time. I think I want to check and change the motor maybe every. 500 milliseconds. So let's test it out. 